What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Different kind of video today for you guys. Behind me, I have a 2005 Mini Cooper S. Upon driving it 15 minutes, all the coolant just started pissing out like crazy. I'm guessing from the heater core or something along those lines because it's at the very back of the engine, almost near into the cabin, and it's dripping pretty bad. So, so today we are going to see if this Blue Devil Pour and Go Cool and Stop Leak will actually repair our Project Mini Cooper for pennies on the dollar. So the instructions on this thing are simple. Slowly pour it into the radiator with the engine cold. Put the radiator cap back on, put heater on full blast, let the car idle for 45 minutes to an hour. Very simple instructions and we're gonna see if we can repair this cheap Mini Cooper. Overall, cosmetically, this car is in pretty good shape. Has over 200,000 kilometers on it on the original engine. And I'm honestly shocked as to how this motor lasted so long because they usually blow up around 150K. And I'm honestly shocked. Whoever owned this thing before must have changed the oil religiously. Let's go ahead and start with the uh, cheap fix attempt on the Mini Cooper. So let's get inside the car and do exactly as the instructions say. We're gonna turn the heater on full blast and make sure it's on hot. We're gonna start this pile of junk. That was pretty rough. Now we're gonna pour this slowly, exactly how the instructions tell us to do. Just keep doing this until the whole bottle is completely empty. Now simply top it off with the coolant of your choice. Put the radiator cap back on. I'll show you guys where the leak currently is. As you can see, it's dripping coolant right there. You see that? So basically now we let it idle like this with the heater on full blast for 45 minutes and we'll check back. All right guys, quick and exciting update. We are only 30 minutes into this test with the engine idling and check this out. So let's hop in the car and see what's going on. Temperature gauge is staying right at half when uh, before it was overheating like crazy. Now it's dead center at half. We're looking pretty good here. Seems like that fixed our problem, at least for now. Not sure about uh, long-term fixes, but for now, it's perfect and it's working and I have no complaints. If you guys need a quick fix or if you're stranded somewhere, definitely keep one of these in your trunk. That being said, thank you guys for watching. Also, this is not sponsored and I'm not affiliated with Blue Devil in any way. Just wanna throw that out there. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.